So how about some recipes for cleaners that you can make at home that, well, they're easy on the environment and on your pocketbook. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly asking myself, where do things come from, what's in them, and how is it going to affect me? That's one of the reasons I've always been interested in things that are natural. So let's talk cleaning products for just a moment. Have you read the labels on some of those things? The way I see it, if you can't pronounce it, you don't need to be using it. And when it comes to food, if there's a name on there you can't pronounce, you don't need to be eating it. In this case, it's environmentally friendly and a lot less expensive. Because I'm talking about two different approaches to some household cleaners that I think you're gonna wanna know about. Who doesn't love the lemony scent that you get from some cleaners? Well, this one has all natural products in it and it's very simple. There are just three ingredients. What we're gonna do is take a spray bottle like this and a funnel, and I'm going to add two cups of water. Ta-da, pretty easy, huh? I'm going to take some peroxide. Yes, a very good disinfectant. This is one cup of hydrogen peroxide in the water and another good disinfectant, a quarter cup of lemon juice. And what I've used here is just lemon juice in a bottle because you don't really want the pulp and so forth in it, okay? It's all mixed together because it's all liquid and you're ready to go. This is great for using in the kitchen, just really a good all-purpose cleaner. Mmm, nice, nice and fresh. So that one's really simple. Let me give you another one. Now this next one is equally simple, one more ingredient, and uh, this makes a great kitchen cleaner, and this has vinegar in it, which is also a very good disinfectant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a bottle, a spray bottle like this. We're going to take the funnel, here's the funnel here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid, okay? Just wanna make sure that all that dishwashing liquid goes in there. You want about a tablespoon. And then the next ingredient is some vinegar. And what we're gonna use here is white vinegar. I'm using four tablespoons of white vinegar, and this will help wash some of that soap down in there. And then we're going to add borax, which is sodium tetraborate, which is actually mined. It's a natural product. I'm just gonna put this powder in here. And then to help flush that down, I'm going to use four cups of good old water. Love the foam action. It's okay, just let it spill off, no big deal. Makes a little bit of a mess, but hey, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? So it's clean. I like slightly warm water, it doesn't have to be hot. It just goes into solution better if it's warm. Tighten that down. You just want to make sure that that dishwashing liquid is all mixed up and into solution like this. Look at that. And there we go. It's already clean. I mean, you can make this stuff for pennies for what you would buy it already made and manufactured. And it smells good too. I hope these recipes are helpful to you. You can make them right in your own kitchen. Tell a friend about them. And make sure you subscribe to Ehow Home. Hey, it's more for a better, cleaner, and more natural kitchen.